Chair, recognize Representative Cook. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, first to Mary, I love you, Mary. You're just like my middle daughter, and I always will love you. Why are we here today? We're here, and I'm going to quote, uh, well, let me just back up. In 2011, we passed a sanctuary city bill out of the House, died in the Senate. 2013, wasn't an appetite for it. 2015, wasn't an appetite for it. Now we find ourselves, uh, last year, when there was a situation in Dallas, uh, the, and I want to quote our governor, and this is what he says. He said, your refusal to fully participate in a federal law enforcement program intended to keep dangerous criminals off the streets leaves the state no choice but to take whatever action are necessary to protect our fellow citizens. This is from your governor, Greg Abbott. Now I want to go back to what I said, dangerous criminals off the street. That's the mission. Shouldn't be any more than that. Shouldn't be any less than that. And I want to, I want to tell you, uh, uh, we've been working on this, this issue for many years. Uh, Chairman Guerin, uh, I can't thank him enough for the way he balanced himself on this issue, which is, which is the way this bill was written. So let me tell you, members, you can be for Sanctuary City and be against this amendment. And if we hadn't noticed, uh, how many hours have we since have we spent since we got stuck on this amendment? We spent almost the whole day. This is the bill right here. And I'm asking, I'm asking my fellow members to have confidence in what the committee has done and have confidence in what Chairman Guerin has done and vote against this amendment because it will not benefit this state. You can pass Sanctuary City and still not do harm to a lot of really good people. So I, I beg you to vote against this amendment. 